The reason is not for the geniuses. It's for those whose competence is masked by incompetence, those whose difference is marked by indifference. You see, an average Nigerian parent takes his child to an average Nigerian school, and the teacher goes, Shama Imo, we have average students. Ne? She needs to ask, is your child a genius or is he more indigenous? Then he's assigned a table and a chair, the very things that imprison us. You see, I'm not even an average student. I'm what you can call a D student. So forgive me for not being prudent. The education made this dense, and even my friends is not so fluent. Those sperm is not for the geniuses. And the reason is not for the geniuses. Going at the days where we knew a science student by the number of science his head presents and not the science he draws into his head. You see, our filthy fetters think and we refuse to think. We refuse to think of how thick our ignorance is, of how ignorant our knowledge is. You see, I know the mother goes through this section to give birth to a D student, but this student is tired. This student is frustrated. You see, I was 18. I was 18 and no one could say I didn't know a thing about being 18. There were days that all I had to eat for 18 hours was a tin of sanding. Unconsciously, I began eating on the ridge. Whose kids don't know a thing about a tin starving? See, I'm not here to just complain about the student's pain, but rather to complain about the losses we've gained. This poem is not for the geniuses. And the reason it's not for the geniuses, education they say is the key, but you see it's a rusted key. So you need to greet it with oil for it to open doors. Be it anointing oil or oil printed in 1,000 era notes, either of them is needed to keep yourself afloat. So don't be quick to judge that young boy who did what is not fitting just to fit into the society's in. Or that young girl who gave up a V-card just to get a C, hoping that if she can cross over C, she will be able to get an A. I don't know who tell us the education for DNA play. And so, dear so-called average student, this form is for you. Don't let the society box your creativity into boxes of naivety using tales of your mediocrity. Rather, let hope rise in you like dust on our bad roads and let it keep rising like the dollar is. So rise from the shambles of history's shame, rise even though the past is clothed in pain, rise leaving behind the attires of shame, rise. I hope you understand. I hope I understand too. This poem is not for the geniuses. It's for those who don't know what being a genius is. Peace.